Fix, fix it, it with us. us. Fix this leaky RO system with our tech team. Just about every reverse osmosis system has an automatic shutoff valve or ASO valve to keep your system from running when the storage tank is full. And each valve fitting has a little O-ring to make a watertight seal. You can see how one of our four valve fittings is leaking. A good first step is to check the tubing valve connection and make sure you've pushed your tubing all the way through the collet and O-ring. If that didn't fix it, turn off your feed water supply and disconnect your ASO valve. Pop the collet off and remove the faulty O-ring. Yuck. It's a good idea to inspect your O-ring for visible burrs or dryness. Whether you're going to try it again or pop in a replacement, grease your O-ring with a silicone lubricant that is NSF approved and food grade. Put your greased O-ring in your ASO valve and now we put the ASO valve back on the system, being mindful of the flow direction noted on your valve. Slowly turn your water back on. Good job, Josh. Leak fixed. We actually did find another leaky spot on the membrane housing. This membrane hasn't been replaced in a while, and the housing is all dirty. Ew. Time to do a little maintenance and optimize this RO system. We grease the O-ring for the membrane housing using the same food-grade silicone lubricant. Then, we clean the housings and sanitize the RO tank. Bacteria doubles every 24 hours, so we really recommend cleaning your system at a minimum of every six months with your filter change. Check out our more detailed video about RO tank and system sanitization. After we got it all cleaned up and changed out the membrane and filter elements, we also added a remineralizing cartridge, which boosts the pH of your RO water. We also added a sediment pre-filter and rerouted the flow pattern to further optimize our system. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and follow for more fix-it videos and other expert water help.